guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be day three of the 12 days of Jenna's faves. I'm so excited. Once again, we have a brand new giveaway prize that's going to be for today's video. But before we get into the giveaway prize and all that fun jazz, let's talk about today's video, which is revisiting the top beauty products from 2021. And I rounded up a whole bunch of them from this video that I made last year around the same time where I talked about some of the best makeup releases from last year. I was kind of curious where they stand today and if I replace them with any better products or if I'm not using them as much. Basically just an update to see where those products are at right now. So let's get started. I first want to talk about brow products because my favorite best makeup products from 2021 was the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows Tinted Gel. I loved that. Here it is right here. I loved this gel. I was using this all the time for my brows and I still have it in my collection, but I have actually been using a new product a lot more and that is the Dior Onset Brow Longwear Brow Gel. If you guys see my description box after every video, I do put a list of all of the products that I am wearing on my face, as well as all the products I mention in each video. And this is one that has interestingly really kind of stolen my heart. I really love this product. It's been amazing, a really great addition to my brow routine. Not to say this one is not good anymore or it's not a favorite still, but it's interesting how I'm grabbing this Dior one over the Charlotte one now. So I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should use the Charlotte one again. <laughs> one of the major strengths of the Charlotte one is how beautifully thin this wand is and very, very precise. So I really like it for this purpose, but clearly it doesn't really matter to me too, too much because this one is a lot thicker compared to the Charlotte, and yet I'm using this one still quite a bit. So both products are lovely. I don't think that one is better than the other per se. It's just interesting how I've been grabbing this Dior show one a little bit more over the Charlotte Tilbury now. One of the best base products from 2021 was this one from NARS. This is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, definitely one of my favorites, and I was using this like crazy. This was in the shade, oh no, Grunland? I know it's Greenland, right? But just spell differently. Oh shoot. This one is light number three, Grunland, Greenland. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's so embarrassing. I have now used this product a lot more. This is the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tint. I love this one, you guys. This has definitely replaced it. Both are great though. Like this is such a tough video to do because a part of me is like, it's not that I hate this product, it's just that now I have this one and I guess I must like it a little bit more. I don't know, but this one does seem to give me a little bit more glow. This one has more coverage though, so both are great. This one does have a radiance to it, the NARS. This one has less coverage, but it's got a little bit more glow, and I guess I'm more so for the glow versus coverage this year anyway. I guess my preferences are changed a little bit, considering this is the product I've been using more. This one has the droplet applicator, and the shade that I have is 15 Melrose. This you could not get in Canada for such a long time, and now you can. So I've been loving that there's a sunscreen component to this. It does help for, you know, having that extra coverage on your skin. This one is, I don't think it has sunscreen. So if you don't want sunscreen in your product, that's also a strength, depending. I know some people don't want to have combination products because of skin reactions or whatever. So it's good to know this one does not have SPF, but you do have to have that extra step of adding your own SPF then underneath, right? This type of video is so tough because I do really like both of these, but somehow this one has slipped my mind and on the forefront of my mind is the Tower 28 product. So I'm definitely gonna be using this one more for sure now that I have been reminded of it again. The best mascara from last year I said was the Rare Beauty launch. This is the Positive Strokes mascara. I still really love this one, but I love the Tower 28 one a little bit more. So I've been using the Tower 28 one more, and there's quite a few differences between it actually, which is kind of cool. So the Rare Beauty one is still amazing, I will say. It has a really nice bristled wand. This one actually coats the lashes beautifully, slightly lifts as well, separates beautifully, adds some nice drama and volume and some thickness. So I really love this product and I still use this from time to time. I am certainly not saying I do not use this ever. I really, really like this one still. But I find when Tower 28 put this one out, I've been using this one just slightly more. So this one is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. 
And this one has such a beautiful, like, delicate wand that's much more attention to detail because it has the shorter bristles and it has a slight curve to it. It's a very unique wand, I will say. I do like having the slight curves. It's been my favorite part of mascaras in the past, such as the Dior Overcurl Mascara. It has a really nice bend, just like this one, and it's been a favorite for years. So this one having that bend, for some reason, really just does a great job of lifting, separating, defining, adding volume, not putting too much product on, but following how your lashes grow out super beautifully and just has that nice little lift. I like the Tower 28 one this year. I really do. I think I'm kind of preferring this one over the Rare Beauty, but these are both like, this is splitting hairs, guys. Like, because I'm talking about my ultimate faves from last year, there's not one dud product in this video. It's just like interesting now that I'm using the Tower 28 one a bit more, but having the Rare Beauty in my collection is also a strength. I love this one too. I talked about this highlighter nonstop last year and I still use this one a ton. There's actually quite a bit of use of this one, you can definitely tell. This is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer and the highlight is in the shade number one, Nude Glow. These were all the rage last year, do you guys remember? I also have one in like a pink rose color that I've used as blush. This is beautiful and you can see that there's some action on this pan. <laughs> It's not completely brand new or anything. There's definitely lots of use with this. This one is such a gorgeous highlight. I've used it today. It's this like beautiful golden glow. So silky smooth on the skin, does not emphasize texture, has a gorgeous gleam. You can keep it subtle or you can frost it up a little bit if you want. You can add quite a bit more and just get a little bit of a more luminizing look. This one is not ultra frosted, so it's not going to look like that streak if you over apply it. It's really beginner friendly, user friendly, you can't mess it up kind of idea. And we have like this really gorgeous outer packaging that is the Dior Beauty package. So this is still a major hit. In fact, this year, I'm trying to think if there's any like highlighters in the new launches that I'm like, I was crazy over. Nothing is coming to mind when it comes to like exciting new releases in the highlight category in particular. I wonder if we're gonna see a lot more in 2023, but this one is still a fave. Absolutely love this one. I have not replaced it with anything. In fact, I've been using this a lot still. One of my favorites from 2021 was this Patrick Ta palette. This is the major dimension eyeshadow palette. A lot of us loved and raved about this launch and rightfully so, it is super stunning. This is still a palette I pull up from time to time. This one is super beautiful and it's perfect for everyday looks that you can transition into night easily because it has those nice shimmers and glitters. Now, interestingly, this one has been replaced a little bit only because I really love rose tones. So I've been using this one, but he has since released the Major Dimension 2, like rose palette. And this is one that I find I'm using more. This is the Pink Ensemble. <laughs> Same structure of palette, just like the first one. It has the two like cream shadows here. You can either use as primer or part of your look, whatever you want. And then we've got that gorgeous gradient and the beautiful shimmers as well. How to apply these, basically super easy. These mattes are incredibly blendable. They're very easy to layer. And then you also have those gorgeous shimmers that I just apply with a fingertip. Expect a bit of fallout with those shimmers, just a tad, because there's quite a bit of texture, but this is actually the one I use a little more than the browns. I don't know if it's just because I'm loving this one slightly more, but both are amazing. <laughs> and both are extremely user-friendly when it comes to shades. They can be appropriate for work, more professional settings, or a night out. It really just depends. But love that I still love both of these, and I love that he's created the Rose Collection this year. I wanna talk about another palette that I was obsessed with in 2021, and really something that I haven't found anything to replace it with, or anything that was like even better. This is still a very beautiful launch, and I haven't seen NARS do anything like it this year. So this is the NARS Orgasm on the Beach Cheek Palette. Definitely made my top faves last year, and this is still one of my favorite palettes from them. I really love this ensemble of shades. I love that you have a highlight, some gorgeous blushes in here. This one I can still use. I just have to be extremely light-handed because it is a very poppy red blush. Same with this one, I guess, too, because it's got quite a brownie mauve quality. But this one is so beautiful. Like, I love their cheek palettes, like, through and through. I think the Afterglow palette is lovely. I think that the holiday release this year is lovely. But 
does not compare to this. I still use this one the most. I still think this one is the most beautiful for my preferences, the most user-friendly, the shades I use the most. I love, love this blush here. Oh gosh, it's just so gorgeous. Let's swatch that for you guys. I love, love, love. It's such a bright pink. It does have a gold quality as well, but my camera's not actually picking that up. It's very slight. Just this gorgeous peachy pink blush. So out of all of the palettes that NARS has put out, and I still think they do a great job. I think that the NARS palette this year, you have to have a super dense brush to really make it work. Otherwise it's gonna look and perform very poorly. It's definitely a denser formula. This one is just so beautiful. It's a different formula for sure than the holiday one, but nothing has replaced this. So this is still a fave. It has not changed. It is definitely in my rotation. I really, really love it. And I don't talk about it too much because it's kind of harder to find now. So I'm careful. I don't want to hype up one of my favorite products and then you can't even buy it. <laughs> so I get complaints like that. Don't get me wrong. I get people saying like, okay, it's nice, but it's discontinued. Like, thanks for ruining my life. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. End of story. It's fantastic. If you do have it, if you're lucky to source it, I do think you'll enjoy it. Now, I forgot to mention the Huda Beauty Balm Brows. I also really love that product. I discovered it last year and I still use it to this day. I am just freshly out. So I'm gonna go to Sephora. The next time I'm there, I'm gonna pick up my brow pencil from Huda Beauty. It is still in my collection. It is still something that I use nearly daily. I've been using the Precisely My Brow for now, just to kind of use what I have, but I really love the Huda Beauty one because it's the skinniest pencil like I've ever come across. And it does the perfect lines. I like to just line up and clean up the bottom part of my brow or fill in some patches. It's a great pencil to do that. I have not found anything that will replace it. It's just so, so perfect. It comes with a spoolie at the end as well. So it's like the best ever. I've gone through like four of them at least. And now clearly I'm about to buy my fifth. Hourglass came out with two palettes last holiday, which I was obsessed with. Loved the packaging, loved the beautiful like marble look of it. This was the Ambient Lighting Universe palette and this was the Ambient Lighting Universe Unlocked palette. And they had two offerings last year, which I really liked. They were five pan. If you know Hourglass, you know that they will switch it up. They will do five pan and they will do six pan. It just depends on holiday. This is a lovely one, but I feel like because I have so many, because I am a reviewer, I do pick up the new ones because I know a lot of you guys want to know how the new ones perform. These are still very lovely palettes and when I think of it, I will pick them up. But this year, Hourglass has three offerings and I have talked about them on my channel. We have the Butterfly, we have the Elephant, and we have the Tiger. This has definitely been the most versatility they've done, so I'm very impressed. This Tiger palette has the most new shades, and it's super beautiful as well. So I've been using these because they've been front and center and released recently. They have not been replaced based on quality, but basically just on the fact that these are the newer releases and they're on top of my shelf. <laughs> So because I've been reminded of these now, I'm like, oh yeah, these are still super beautiful. I really like these palettes as well. It's just tough. I've just been reminded of these now and I'm like, oh yeah, like I still love these. I do feel like though from year over year, unless you're like a super crazy hourglass fan and you just love collecting these, there's like similar kind of shades year over year. You're not getting like brand new concepts, but these are best sellers for a reason. And I've thoroughly enjoyed all of the ones I've owned. So Last year's is amazing. This year's are amazing. I do feel like I'm using this year's more because they are in my face <laughs> and on top, but I still like last year's as well. So when I think of it, I'm going to be using them again and giving them some more love just so that I know I'm continuing to use all the makeup that I have as best I can. What did you guys think of this style of video? It's kind of interesting because there's still rock star products in here, but you just either forget or you've replaced it with something a little bit better. So it's kind of cool. I definitely found that fun to review last year's favorites. Now let's talk about today's giveaway prize. Today's giveaway prize is international. So thank you for being so patient. In order to enter, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you leave a comment on which makeup product you still use from last year. That's what I want to know. What's the makeup product you still use from last year? maybe that you discovered last year and you still have it. It hasn't been replaced by anything yet. I'm super curious. So that will be the entry today. 
extra entries are going to be following me on Instagram and leaving me a DM on Instagram. Please make sure when you're DMing me on Instagram that you tell me what specific giveaway you want to enter for. Today's giveaway prize is NARS holiday themed. So there's actually three parts. So the first part is the NARS Stardust Mini Light Reflecting Powder Set. This is so cute and it comes like an ornament, okay? I thought that was adorable. <laughs> so I'm not gonna open this up, I'll just show you what's inside so that it's like kept perfect for the winner. This is gonna be the exact prize I'm gonna send, so I have to be careful. But this is the lighting powder that's inside. It's a mini with a cute little like puff in it. I thought that was so cute. That's the first piece. The second piece is one of my favorite holiday releases this year. This is the NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette. This is the six pan holiday palette. Like I said in this video, the key to this is to have a dense brush. That is a make or break for this product. Do make sure you have a dense blush brush for this one in order for it to work out. On the back, you will see all of the shades here and I will actually pull out mine so you can see what it looks like. So this is the palette from this year. You can see it has all the gorgeous stars. And when you open it up, there are six beautiful shades in here. Some are bold, some aren't, but they are such beautiful, beautiful shades. So just so you guys know, a dense brush, make sure it's key, I'm telling you, otherwise you'll be disappointed because you'll be like, where's the pigment? This is a denser formula compared to other six pan palettes they've come out with. It's still super gorgeous though, so I had to include it in today's giveaway. The last piece is a cute little orgasm set. This is the Orgasm Triple Threat Cheek and Lip Set from NARS, also from the Holiday Collection this year. It comes with that really gorgeous lip balm. It's from their Afterglow line. And then we also have an orgasm blush as well as one of those multi-sticks in orgasm. So this is such a cute set, you guys. Just the three are so adorable. I had to include it as one of the giveaway prizes because I think it's amazing and you guys are worth it. My elf is back for the finale of this video, but if you are wanting to enter, don't forget all of those rules and good luck. Until my next one, guys, take care and stay safe. Bye guys.